Welcome to the Mischief. This is Kashka. I'm doing a blind playthrough of Oxenfree. Oxenfree is an indie adventure game. Um, it's very story driven, so there's going to be lots of spoilers, all the spoilers in this playthrough. Um, there's quite a lot of dialogue as well, just so you kind of know what to expect. Um, I think it's on sale on Steam at the moment, um, but I've heard really good things about it, so let's get started. be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. Mm, and then one year they changed the formula cookies. or whatever and ruined it. Okay, so we can see Alex? this is me. Hey, Alex. Still with us? You haven't said anything. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> They met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? We'll be like a roommate, really. No, but isn't there, like, a term oh for it? Oh, dear. I don't um, think you like that. brother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Where? Yeah, no, it's a nice per- Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Uh, who's the- uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. It's getting foggy. Uh, so how do you it's a report. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. <sighs> Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. <laughs> just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, <coughs> AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex. Smile. There, great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? It's getting extra foggy. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track running or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Oh, 
That's a terrible band name. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Fuck on. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since sure, when you smoke? Not? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Nice. We'll be quick. <laughs> we'll meet you by the thing. Okay, yeah, just the thing. remember, aim to throw up in the water. Got it. Here's the smoke if you want it. This isn't gonna go well. You all right? <coughs> They're filtered. Yeah, no, it's just been a while. Sorry, right. Marcy. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Wait, is is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes. Super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. Oh, he's mad. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. Super fast. I'll just be up the hill in case... <laughs> Whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. I mean, not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and oh. thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. She seems kind of bummed about that. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh, Went to jail. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. Hmm. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about that. Interesting backstory there, I think. Let's check out this door. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Kitschy quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Oh, there's a blob on the car as well. Let's check this out. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. And one creepy car hiding under the bridge. Alright, let's go up the hill. Enough exploration. Let's do this. A statue. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Um maybe we can do the walking tour later. Yeah. Like after three beers. <laughs> okay, that's true. We will be here all night. It's weird. Eagle and a dolphin statue. Kind of up. Alright, let's do this. 
check this out. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. My matchmaking already? No point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Right, Hello, let's... kids. Uh -huh. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed Ooh. redefinition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. So, to summarize, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. Uh -huh. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And so. the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. Mm. So mm. back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the water. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. Sounds You'd be okay pretty good. with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah, why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, no, <gasps> really? Yeah. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thanks that is so bizarre. much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, have whoops. a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this will be fun. Don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Huh. All right, let's push this thing. Because I think... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Need a hand here. Alright, here we go. Pushing. Eh, eh. Push, push, push. Okay. Almost there. Almost. Okay. Got it. Alright, I guess we're going to the cliffs. Let's do this. Ooh, hello. Climbing. Nine PM. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Be cool. Don't be like. Just how you can be sometimes. What? <laughs> oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing dumpster that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Just leave it alone, Ren. All right, you don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying. I was about to tell a story. What was it? About hmm? Red's car. Climbing. Oh well, that can wait. I can climb. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. 
It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Around the um, corner. My mom married his dad, so corner family in law and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took nope. the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't Make a you bitch. all like friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to like a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Wow. Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards mm. Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the... Oh, it's pretty. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see our house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas... The thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. Wow. You can ask a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good uh, getting to know somebody game. I haven't played this since I was like... Ten. Can we do something else? Come on. It's a good way to start out the night. One round? It'll help everybody relax. The booze will do that, too. Fine. Let's all smack the taste out of our mouths, I guess. <laughs> Hooray! Okay. So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Red. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just face wow. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay. It's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh oh... I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny. I don't know. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, you're going down the line. Nona, she seems like she'd be... Present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's on it. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. Yep. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. Wow. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. Huh. She's got a weird sense of humor. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite? Uh, Jonas. Oh, of course it's Jonas. 
Yeah. Tell it's gotta be truth. this. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that you're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa. Um, Why are you last such a bitch? person you made out with. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you uh, hugged and said? Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since. God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher two weeks ago in Iggy's death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. <laughs> Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, uh, just get to whatever point this is getting to. Seriously. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Uh, she's like just know why. pot stirring. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah, me too. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Let Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And get that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Cheese! Yeah. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, yeah. If we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Seriously. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's just fine by me. Good. <laughs> well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. There's okay, a fence to climb. Come on. Fence, Where part are you from two. Again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. I don't want to go to this cave. So you're just gonna jump over with Alex, Allie? you wanna check out the caves or Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Alright, you gotta stand still first. Here we <laughs> no. go. I'll push oh. you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about Whenever John. you're ready. Oh what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Just mm, weird enough. Probably a five? Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. Ooh, it's cool looking. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now <laughs> she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. Aww. I don't think you would, but, you know, you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah. Just gonna leave that. Who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. <laughs> Those look like brownies. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced mm. with certain qualities. Mm. Mm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Or eat too much. I think that's... Mm. Totally fine. <laughs> okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. The signals. Alright. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. 
I think I gotta find the so right spot. Just to pull out your radio. Activate the radio. Any day. Okay, here we go. You now get to watch me try and tune a radio for a good 90 seconds or something. Okay, not that way. Let's go this way. Mouse clicking. Ooh. Okay, that's Morse code. Don't need that. Interesting though. Ooh. Holy crap! Whoa! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. What is it? What's doing it? Yeah. Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I think he's had one well, too many it's brownies. Crazy, ben, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too. I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay, here I come. Gonna stand right by the pile. I said we're gonna stand right by the pile. Oh. Aha. Okay. Alright, let's keep going this way, actually. Okay, no, nothing that way. More radio tuning. Whoa. This is so cool. That's crazy. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... No. They, they're fine where they are. Agreed. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Okay, last one. Uh, is that Morse code again? I, want, I need to find like a Morse code translator so I can understand what that is. This way? This way? Yes? No? Okay. Oh, uh, the other way. Oh my god. Okay, between 97 and 98 is that Morse code. Okay. Uh, it sounds so... Creepy? Yeah, it sounds... Creepy? Uh, creepy. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. What was that? Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't do that. Hey, hey, where are you going? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous? Uh, yeah, what is that? Is that gonna... I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. That'd be cool. It's not that far in. If it's a fool, <laughs> that'd be cool. Oh boy. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. Oh boy, there he goes. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Do what? Ah... <sighs> Okay, let's go find Jonas. Mm, I'm glowing. Hi. I think I'm going to stop there for episode one. Thanks for sticking with me through all that heavy dialogue. Um, I'll be back with more Oxen Free very soon. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am.